Okay, we just uh, had a chance to watch the video uh, with the players and, and uh, you know, I'm really proud of the players and the coaches. Uh, they put a great uh, effort and game plans uh, in, into the game and, and the players uh, did a lot of good things. But we, we can be a lot better football team. Uh, we can improve uh, uh, very much. And, you know, it's no, again, it's a coaching cliche, but between your first and second game, uh, you improve more than any time during the season. And for us, it's really true because we haven't had video uh, this entire preseason. Uh, we had to film from the ground uh, because we had a problem with our video situation. So uh, we, we had a chance to, uh, we'll have the players and the coaches have a real good chance to see good video and, uh, you know, we're going to get better. Coach, in, in watching the game film, we talk about offense, huge numbers, more put up running the football. Is everything that didn't work in a passing game fixable? Well, it's not that everything didn't work in the passing game. Uh, we had one drop ball. You know, our slots uh, were doing the right thing, catching the ball. Everybody was in the right place. Uh, but we put some new things in. And uh, we, we put a sprint out in. We put, you know, we've had the option, but we don't use it. Uh, we had a read option uh, in. Uh, because we knew they were going to come after Mo, and and so uh, a lot of his running yardage or most of his running yardage uh, was by design. Uh, if they're playing man, if they're doubling all of our people, then his his second read is, is to go because they're why you. It's just the same. S situation is with uh, Alex last year. If they're doubling and manning, they're watching the man, and you just have to make one guy miss and, and you can go. That's what happened with uh, Joy Acefa on that screen. So, you know, we had an idea they were going to do pro-type coverages, which are doubling up and and cutting to another guy, and, and uh, a, a lot of his yardage was by design. He, he did a great job. I mean, he's such a competitor. Uh, I mean, we we could have uh, uh, thrown the ball more, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, we were getting it on the ground, and it is called the run and shoot, and we proved it last year. You know, I mean, we, we want to throw the ball, I mean, and set up the, set up the run. But if we can get it on the run, we'll take it on that too. And he's got the ability, and he's faster than he's ever been. So people aren't going to be able to do what they've tried to do to us uh, in the past. Coach, well, not that one receiver <coughs> makes a, a large difference all the time, but having Darius right back for this week, how does that open up the offense and allow you guys to do what you want to do? Well, Al Alan Sampson did a, did a good job. Uh, so it'll be those two guys playing the receiver. Uh, Darius is a is a big receiver, so he's a big target. But uh, they're they're going to share the position. That gives two different looks. Um, you know, so uh, Aaron Brown is going to make a you know make a difference. We we played. I felt we played great defense. Uh, when a team talks every day about coming and running it down our throat and uh, getting the first punch and and really focus in on being physical. And our defense holds them to 17 yards total and uh, gets se seven sacks and uh, they get 240 yards total. Uh, you know, I, I know we're not getting a lot of credit down there. You know, they beat sort of beat themselves in that. But I, I'm going to credit our players with playing dang good defense. And I, I want to give our credit, our, you know, our players the credit. Speaking of defense, um, bye-bye Lico. 
and you had two defensive ends. Did a great if, job. If you're looking back at last season, that, that's where the production didn't come from? Yeah. To get that kind of production in game one? Yeah. That makes you feel good. No, oh, it's real good. Lico Satelli and, and Pai Pai did, just did a great job. Uh, Pai Pai got two sacks and, and five uh, tackles for loss. And Satelli was just a, a force coming off the edge. Uh, our, our defensive front dominated their offensive front completely. Going back to the run and shoot comment, um, last year you had a guy go over a thousand yards. What did you see out of uh, Joey Osafa yesterday as far as his potential? Oh, I think he's got great potential. He's a big guy. He's He's got a little wiggle to him, uh, but He's a big physical guy, and uh, you know that that's the first college game he's ever played. He's a, a freshman, and uh, I think he's just going to get better and better. Caught the screen, made the big play, held, you know, got into the end zone. That was a big touchdown for us. Are Aaron, are Aaron and Darius going to start this week, or is that dependent upon what you see in practice and see how things go? Well, Aaron's going to start, uh, you know. To me, uh, uh, they they serve their punishment, and uh, you know they'll have some other things to do. But they, you know they're they're back on the football team. We we handled it, and it's family business. And and uh, you know that we're going to do what we think is right for those two people that are in our family and our football team, and that's that's where we are. So Corey's moving back to a um, mill. Yeah, Corey will move back to middle, and uh, Aaron will go to his position. As far as outside receivers, uh, Alan uh, Sampson did a great job, and uh, you know Darius has had that toe, so they're still gonna rotate. Is it still better now? Is it, is yeah, it, it's better. It's better now. He's he's always gonna have it. He's just gonna have to suck it up. Those. Turf toes are are really tough, tough to get over. So he's gonna he's gonna play hurt all year, and that's that's all a guy can do, because rest is the only thing that helps that. You did uh, film in over the weekend on Washington. Yes, what we've you, we've watched. You well, you know, they had a close game with Eastern Washington, but I know how that goes. Uh, take a look at Oregon State and Sacramento State. Uh, I'm sure uh, Washington is uh, going to be embarrassed by that game. But the thing is, Central Washington's or Eastern Washington is a better team than most people think because they won the national championship division. You know, at their division last year, uh, they're favored to win it this year. Uh, they all had chips on their shoulders because they're in the state of Washington and they weren't good enough to be picked to go to Washington. So that gets you jacked up right there. So uh, they, I, I've watched the game several times and they played outstanding. And, uh, uh, you know, Wash Washington is going to be ready to play us because they're not going to let that happen to, you know, uh, they're, they're going to be ready to play. That being said, seeing as they do kind of spread it out a little bit more, would that make Lico a, a, a better option, I guess, as a, as a starter? Well, we, we haven't talked about that. Today, today we really uh, watched yesterday's film or, you know, Saturday night's film and get this game out of the way. And then as coaches, we start working on this. This, this is the first thing I've really gotten on them other than watching the game because it was on TV and then we get a copy of the game. So we haven't met as a staff. We'll do that later on this evening uh, oh. to make our game plan. Mike Edwards, was it just me or did, did not want to throw the ball in his direction in the first half? He locked that guy down that good? Yeah, he, he played really well. You know, he... he uh, uh, missed a couple of tackles that he's, you know, that he's uh, got to improve on, but he he covered pretty well. And really, on the other side, Tank had the guy covered from the outside. The guy had position on him on the first one, but he had him perfectly covered the second time, and the ball 
either the guy was a great thrower and threw behind or you know because tank had him covered and he underthrew the ball and uh, you know the guy made the catch so uh, you know that's how that is also having him on, on kick return that kind of changes the game up a little bit having a yeah, guy well I, i'm really excited about our special teams uh, we did several things that are interesting number one is uh, is that uh, we punted 42.5 yards a kick and had no return against us. And that was our goal going into the game, was to punt over 40 with no return. Also, I, I'm not sure of the number, I think, it's, I think it's 50, you know, in kickoff return. And if you think of that, you know, I mean, we kicked off however many times we did but our our kick our kickoff team was down there and and getting after things. Uh, you know our punt return. Uh, we've got a real talented guy. He catches everything, and uh, we're we're you know that that was the first time he's ever played American football. So he's just going to get better and better. And I'm talking about Scott Harding. So um, you know I, I'm I'm excited about our special teams and we can get better you know I mean we have things so that that's the exciting thing to me is that we won our first game against a name team you know I mean people know who Colorado is uh, they, they have a good coaching staff a pro coaching staff that got them ready to play uh, we got a win under our belt uh, we have to get six more and, the, and then continue, but six more to, you know, get to go to a bowl game. So that, that's one. And, and we can get better, way better. I mean, we've, we've found many things that we can get better at. Uh, so that, that's exciting to me. So are you taking guys who are Richard Bubble players, or are, you, or are these all going to be available to play? What do you mean, Richard? Uh, like, are you taking it, like, say, Brian Clay, who didn't play in um, Saturday's game? Are you taking him on the road? Um, we're, we're taking any anybody that's uh, – we're going to have a meeting tomorrow, and we're taking anybody that can help us win. And uh, during a game, you want your best players on the field, so sometimes you don't substitute in certain situations. Sometimes you do. We played uh, 12 defensive linemen. And uh, it really paid off for us because at the end they were really fresh and just ate those guys up. And uh, so we, we'll know tomorrow. But uh, if a guy can help us play, then, you know, we're going to take him. I'm sorry. If a guy can help us win, then we're going to take him. How's Chauncey doing? Chauncey is getting an MRI and. Uh, his his knee doesn't hurt, but it's stiff. So I I, I haven't talked. Actually, uh, we'll have a personnel meeting tomorrow at 10:30, and the trainers will be there and the doctors, uh, so we know exactly where we are health-wise. A lot of talk was made going into the Colorado game that you guys kind of ran out of gas in the second half last year. But another part of it is that game was at the tail end of a 12-day trip. And you have another one coming up. Are there any things that you guys think you should do different so that you guys don't run out of gas against UNLV this year? No. 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 I, I think we know exactly what we're doing. Uh, we've done this for a long time. And, uh, you know, we play who's on our schedule. And, uh, uh, you know, we we do it the right way, and uh, I know people have their opinions, but we study it very carefully and uh, use uh, references from the NFL and different people, and uh, so I'm completely confident in the way that we're traveling. So extra emphasis this week on uh, the on-field communication because Washington's known to have one of the loudest 
stadiums in, the, in college football? And is there going to be an extra emphasis on uh, just communication on the field? No, we, we do that. You know, I mean, we, you, you see our defense, I mean, we don't huddle and we signal everything. They're talking to each other. Uh, we, we talk in pods of guys. Uh, so that's not going to bother us at all.